I want to thank you for assembling us uh, into your presence today for this wonderful convocation, the graduation of uh, your people who have been who have been groomed in this place, who have been learning and who have been trained uh, to be your messengers to be your equipers in your church. We ask that today is the day that your presence will be in force in this grand mission mm -hmm. And all shall be well with us. All shall be well with them. All shall be well with those who have trained them. Mm -hmm. The result will be for your honor and glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The processional hymn is the hymn ancient and modern 167. Hymn 167 on page 3 of the service program.
note, I want to ask the AICC choir to lead us in praise and worship. Lead us. Nigeria, what's begun at the Christian Center? Can that company call us? So, uh, got it. Call up at the boss and slow man. Bad center. Slow man. Left.
will be saved. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. Eternal Father, you sent your son Jesus Christ to be the savior of the world. May your Holy Spirit so enlarge our vision of your love and power so deepen our awareness of the needs of mankind that we may both expect great things from you in our prayers and attempt great things for you in our service through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O most merciful Father, we confess that we have done little to forward your kingdom in the world and to advance your glory. Pardon, we pray you our shortcomings. Give us greater zeal for your glory and make us more ready and diligent in our praise. Our gifts and our example to spread abroad in the knowledge of your truth and to enlarge the boundaries of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Savior of the world, who by your cross finished your great work for the redemption of mankind. Bless the witness of your church and help us to finish the work which you have given us to do in making your love known in all the world. For your name's sake. Amen. Amen. Please be the only lesson is taken from the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 10, beginning at the first verse to verse 2. There, we are commencing it from 17. Page 4 in our service booklet or program. Luke, chapter 10, beginning at the first verse. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others, ascended two by two, ahead of him to turn and place where he, he was about to go. He told them, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Are the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. The seventy-two returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. He replied, I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits Submit to you, but it's just that your names are written in heaven. This is the word. For the sermon is SSS 902. 
My hope is built on nothing else. On page four of the service program. Page four of the service program. solid ground that we have been standing on is still available today. I will need to repeat it, remind ourselves that the ground we are standing is a solid ground. Why are we here? Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you because there is time for everything. Today, we are celebrating these 13 students who came here three years ago and enabled them to go through this school and to graduate. Father, we thank you for allowing it at all. Thank you for the gathering of your children to celebrate with them. Thank you for the church gathered to celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ who continued to send people out for the great task. We pray that Lord you speak to encourage us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. First of all, I want to thank the Almighty God who has blessed us in a wonderful way. Looking at your program, the preacher is unavoidably absent. Father, we reminded him yesterday and he answered me from the clinic. He submitted. And we prayed he is well in Jesus' name. There is no vacuum in the things of the Lord. He has spoken to us to speak to encourage us knowing the purpose of our gathering here. 
We want to thank God for his lordship who is here on double capacity. He's fully represented the chairman who again is unavoidably absent. He's here to represent him and also as one of the sponsoring bishops in the Diocese of Western Israel, he's here. My Lord, you are welcome in Jesus' name. I want to thank the cream of priests who are here uh, to grace this occasion. You are also welcome in Jesus' name. Our uh, Abel Knight is here to be uh, welcome. And in fact, those of you I decide to face, I'm seeing many faces. I may not know you. You are welcome in Jesus' name. I know you are here to bring the occasion. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then after this occasion, I will know some of you. Primoni says the opening of this school. And we thank God that this year we decide to make it a bit more colorful. On Tuesday, there was a football match between the graduates and the students who are still in school. And the result was very wonderful. It was a played with the love of Christ. There were no injury, no red card, and the goal so <laughs> uh, they were afraid to defeat them. And they, they show love. This by if we defeat them, they will not feel happy. So it was a balanced uh, game. So thank you very much. And yesterday we had a wonderful uh, seminar. The role of the catechist, the relevance and the challenges of the catechist in the twenty-first century in the Anglican Communion. Are they just here to train our girl when at the top somewhere? The speakers were all seasoned or senior clergy advocates who passed through the grass route to the level they are. I was just discussing with the Lord Bishop. My Mrs. said that he will pass through that, told the story of how himself and the Apina were going to teach people the catechism, the work of the catechist. So, my brothers, you are relevant in the society and in the church. Praise the Lord. That was yesterday. Today is the grand finale. We are here to celebrate these 13 people. Somebody called you. And this occasion is a continuation or another aspect of that call. That's it. <laughs> you have ended your course yet in the beginning of another course somewhere. And that takes me to the, my text to Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Matthew 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. You, we are celebrating your graduation today. And it is only leading you to the beginning of another life. It is not the chairman of the board of governor that is sending you out. Of course, he did not call you. Neither the bishops, nor the principal, but there's someone who called you. And who is that person? God. And Jesus said, yes, you have been called, you responded, thank you. You passed through the rigors of training, You left your parents, left your wife and children to be here. You have done that which 
should be done to you as a student. That is not all. The Lord called you for training for a purpose. And that purpose has to be achieved by this message. Behold, I send you out as what? As sheep. In the midst of her wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. The venerable Arrow Lori for the work he did. He started with him. He had to build you up. He was so open to share the experiences with you. What about the kitchen staff? They started working right from day one. You entered. Even to they are still the kitchen in New cooking for you. Praise our Lord. Hey, all this go watch in one more journal to make sure that you achieve the purpose of purpose God for you. The chairman of God of Rome, the right of the GFP devil, will be represented here by the red of the humanity. Chairman of this occasion, Chairman and the Bishop Western, uh, Bishop of the Wari, today, and Bishop of the Sapphire. They have made sacrifices to make sure that you have your training, your stay here comfortable. What to say? Thank God for their lives. I thought about the board members coming to you know, reason, plan, how are we going to make this place, place better than the time we met? Brethren, today, you have gone through all this. How about, about your wives, for those of you who are married, your brothers and sisters, they prayed, they gave you money, they supported you, you, you in one way or the other. Today, it is the song of joy. To God be thy glory, great is his. Can you just stand up and lift up your voice? Uh -huh. So you roll upon thy life and all me. Praise the Lord. According to my theme, I said the end, the beginning of the end. Having concluded your training here, Jesus says, I am sending you out as sheep among wolves. Let us look at the characteristics of a sheep. The sheep is first mentioned in Genesis 4, 2. Prominent for sacrifice. What are sheep made for? Sacrifice. sacrifice. Anytime they read anything about sheep, just put your name there. You are there for sacrifice. And it's a source of food and clothing. It is also show innocency. People who don't deserve punishment. The sheep is also helpless as he faces the slaughter. As a sheep led to slaughter, Jesus did not open his uh, mouth. Psalm 44, 11 and 12. And when we talk of a sheep going astray, it shows the human nature of man going astray. Sinning. And we also see that the sheep being led for sacrifice, quite symbolic, the way Jesus Christ was also led to the cavern.
And the sheep also is very, very important dear to the Lord. And that is why when one got lost, he had to go and look for it, showing love. The prodigal son. As important as sheep is to the Jews, hear this. For the Egyptians, the sheep is an abomination. It's a thing of hatred, not loved by the Egyptians. No wonder when there was famine at the time of Joseph, what happened? Joseph had to bring the parents to Egypt. But very soon, no, we don't miss with them. We are settled in Goshen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was what to, to show how they hate the sheep. So, my beloved, you are going to <laughs> where? Let us look at who are the wolves, the characteristics of nature of wolves. We are belong to the same family like dogs, forces, and jackals. Terrible animals. When they see blood, they are happy. The writer says that even the, 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 the wolves, whether in fact he will kill more than what he will eat, because once he tastes blood, they are desire to kill more. These are the people he are sending you to meet. It is also not, noted for his boldness and fearlessness in attack. Luke 10, 3. In fact, in the night, that is the best time it was his uh, prey to kill. They are the worst or greatest enemies of the sheep are wolves. They are the greatest enemy. No wonder it is also used more figuratively in the sense of deceitful and greedy people. Because they are never satisfied, they eat and eat and kill and kill, destroy. So greedy people are likened to wolves. Genesis 49, 27, Jeremiah 5, 6, Ezekiel 22, 27, and so on and so forth. And because of these characteristics, they are also termed as false prophets. Listen to this. That one of the messianic age say that at the time, the end time, the wolf and the lamb will do, they will dwell together, they will eat together. Praise the Lord. Amen. The sheep, the wolf, then the serpent, and the dog. These are the three animals, the three animals, or birds, or creatures. Listen. Satan, serpent, or devil, is the symbol of evil about Satan. God proved his power over any type of Satan or serpent when his Moses um, rod swallowed the other serpent produced by magician. To tell us God is powerful. We don't know why it is called serpent or very dangerous because of the way it moves. Very, it looks very innocent, but it's dangerous. There are people like that in the midst. Then the next, the last picture is the dog. The term dog applied loosely to many smaller species of pigeon. It is gentle and faithful to its mate. I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, my children, be wise. As serpents and harmless, 
as dove. I want to ask you, who called you to this ministry? Is it me? Called you, is it it? And is the one also said in your heart. Am I correct? You were a church agent before your training. By this to the world that you've gone through these four walls of other people do, Christian Center. You are no longer church agent, but you are catechist. Well known. But Jesus who called you said is sending you out. Are you going to blame Jesus Christ for sending you out to meet the wolves? If you look at that uh, verse to 20, he said, but, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to counsel as culture in their synagogues. In their synagogues, you will pass through many trials and temptations. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake, as a testimony to them to the Gentiles. So you have a, 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 a purpose. God gives you a reason for calling you. I'm happy that you have all have been posted. You know the various stations you now belong to. You must have spent some time there. You will now begin to apply what you are talking in, say into what you have experienced. Are there woods? Do you have woods there or snakes? But what we should be is that we should be like a sheep and dove. Because wolves and serpents are there. They will welcome you. Oh, Oriko uh, Gravina. Uh, How do you call Kakis? Oriko Gravina. They go welcome me. Well, well. But some of us, some of them welcome me to you. They have a different agenda. But God said, not to worry, they are there before I'm sending you there. Whom you think that they will help you in the ministry, when they go against you, so that you will pray well and make converts as people believers expected that you be Christian. Just as God used the Jewish rejection and persecution of the messengers to bring the gospel message to the Gentiles. Paul had similar experience in Acts 21 to 32. We should continue in defense of persecution and trials. <coughs> because God is going to judge every action, everything we do. To refuse to speak for Christ because of intimidation, whether from high authorities or low authorities, having been told the truth because of intimidation or persecution, you refuse to speak up, will result in the believer's loss of reward. And consequent loss of glory in the kingdom. You cannot labor come here to labor and work for God. At the end of this day, say, I know you not. God forbid in Jesus' name. Amen. In 34 to 36, the first thing that I came to bring peace on earth, I did not come to bring peace, but what? You don't want to answer. Division, so. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his own household. Hmm. Christians throughout the age, it has been those closest to them who have rejected them and their message even to the point of betrayal. True or false? Right from this, those people that are very close to you never expected that the people who say, I don't know him, crucify him. Example in the Bible, 
Judas Iscariot and uh, Peter. Are you going to deny him? Are you going to say you don't know Jesus Christ? Me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. The work to do for him. Definitely, I want to assure you today from scriptures that those that we glorify God must pass through trials and temptations. Because Jesus Christ has set us an example. So whatever you are going to experience in the field, know that Jesus Christ has gone that way. And he is able to sustain you in Jesus' name. Amen. That is the solid rock you stand, not the other reason. So All this labor, so the station is very far, like one of us here. It is very, very liberal area. To get to the station, very you know whether GSS does not get them, we don't know. The purpose for the movement, God is not in this country. Amen. Don't that someone was so hard. The word this person has been hearing. Because it has come from a willing heart, a heart that said, God, you are saying I will go. The person will hear that message and will be commanded in Jesus' name. Amen. That is the work of God. When I was transferred here, I found it very difficult. That is the truth. How to leave my wife, leave my children, leave poor I don't have a wife. Because of God, I have to stress in my body. So there are a lot of experiences, it's not all us because they are doing it for person. You will be better to come. And God will honor you. If men fail to honor you, heaven will honor you. Verse 38, we are concluding. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Hmm. I that he who finds his life will lose it. And he who loses his life will be sustain it. But if you say, I want to take care of, I want to be in air condition, I have a drive jeep, drive the view. Oh, really? They see. He said, no, we'll go now. That one will come when God's time comes for you. Take up your cross, stands for commitment. Me, I cannot go alone. By the time you see that, you are happy. Jesus said, yes, this. The witness is from his side. Not so they go. Uh, 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 no, no, no facility. No, no big man that you can. Uh, when you drop, you just go. That is complete. No way. Your cross means commitment. You have to be committed. After all this, is there any reward? Can the church answer me? Any reward? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Verse 42. Or let me just pray. Wherever you go, when they receive you, know that it is not you but you. Jesus Christ has received it. Your spirits are doing their spirit, spirit to receive you. He who receives a prophet, in the name of a prophet, shall receive Start the ministry. They need your encouragement. As you receive them, you are receiving Jesus Christ. Look, some of you have your problems. Let me tell you a secret. Anywhere I'm transferred to, I have a policy, I said it before, that I don't go to the bishop. In fact, as a teacher, I've never, I don't have any big man to say, please transfer me to a big city. No. Anywhere they send me to, I go. In the ministry, I don't have to meet bishop to say, send me to a place. I don't do it. And I've never do it. And I will not do it. And when I'm sent to a place, I don't reject. And my first time I tell the people, please, I'm sent to you. The bishop prayed that God should lead him. And he led God put me in the bishop's heart to send me to you. Those of you who are looking at you have a problem. 
And God said he's going to use me to solve that uh, problem. Praise the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then, be ready. Let us work together to have your problem solved. Do you know pastors have problems too? Is that true? You are not answering me. Do pastors have pro problems? Only the bishop don't have problems. They have to. Okay, then I will say, well, problem, and you are dead with my problem. So let us work together. And I fire on, and God has blessed me. So I don't have to. If, if I ask the bishop, please send me to church A, church B, can I say that? No. Can I say that? No. I've looked at science, no, the benefits there before going. Of all the places I never thought I'd come to the Adam Hebrew Christian Center. No, no, there are a lot of blessings here. Praise the Lord. Of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receive a righteous man, in the name of a righteous man, shall receive a righteous man's uh, reward. Verse 42. And whoever gives, a, gives one of these little ones only a cup of cold water, not million naira, not one, a cup of what? Cold water. My brethren, we don't want millions for them. A cup of cold water given in faith, given in sincerity, in a welcoming spirit. As we see these people going to the field, the Lord will make them to make his word real in the life of the people in Jesus' name. Amen. You are needed, you are a hot cake. A venerable visited me this morning. He said, please, can you just uh, uh, commission two of these people so that I go to two people in my station? You are relevant, you are important. God be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. On our part, we need to encourage them. Some of you are married. Please encourage your husband. It may not be easy initially, but with patience and perseverance and behaving like sheep and dog, victory is sure. Your reward is sure. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this encouragement you have given to us. That we should go into the midst of woods, serpents, dangerous animals, manifested in the character of human beings. We are not going to run away. Father, equip us, especially our brothers, that they will work hard and get reward through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And in our sitting positions, we shall sing verses 1, 2, and 5 of the hymn, Ancient and Modern, 331, on page 5 of the service program, while the brothers file out before his lordship.
to be admitted to the lay ministry of the church as qualified catechist in the Anglican community. Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are all baptized by one spirit into one body and giving gifts for a variety of ministries for the common good. Our purpose is to commission these persons in the name of God out of the dioceses of Wari, Ule, Western Izong, and Sapele to a special ministry to which they are called. Are these persons you present prepared by a commitment to Christ as Lord, by regular attendance at worship, and by the knowledge of their duties to exercise their ministry to the honor of God and the well being of His church? I believe they are. To a ministry in this congregation, will you, as long as you are engaged in this work, perform it with diligence? I will. Will you faithfully and reverently execute duties of your ministry to the honor of God, to the benefit of the members of your congregation? I will. God of all wisdom and knowledge, give your blessings and guidance to all who teach in your church that by word and example they may lead those whom they teach to the knowledge and love of you through Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Benedict, you shall go forward from the city. In the name of God and of the Diocese of Wari, Ole, Western Isong, and Sapele, I commission you, Benedict into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord! Amen. 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 In the name of God and of the dioceses of Wari, Ole, Western Zone, and Sakale, I commission you into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Akata Gode, in the name of God and of the dioceses of Wari, Ole, Western Zong, and Sapele, I commission you into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. David Hosanna. David Hosanna, in the name of God and of the dioceses of Wari, Ole, Western Zone, and Sabale, I commission you into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord! Amen. 
هفتاد این مرتبه است In the name of God, and of the Diocese of Wari, Gobe, in Western Zone, and Sapele, I commission you and Tony Matthias into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord! Amen. In the name of God and of the dioceses of Wari, Ole, Western Zone, and Sakale, I commissioned you, Okite, into the ministry, the lay ministry of the church, and gave you these certificates as a token of your ministry, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everybody, shout hallelujah! In the name of God and of the Diocese of Wari, Ole, Western Zone, Sagalet, I commission you, my God, into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of God, and of the Diocese of Wari, only in Western Zone and Sapele, I commission you, Christopher and Biade, in the lay, into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of God and of the diocese of Wari, only Western Zone and Sapele, I commission you Ernest Iwenwa into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord! That's not to burn us around. In the name of God and in the diocese of the Diocese of Wari, Ole, Western Zone, Sapele, I commission you, Al Victor, I have sworn into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Moses, In the name of God and of the Diocese of Wari, Ole, Western Zone and Sakale, I commission you into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of God, I know the diocese of Wari, 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 Western Zone, Sapele, Wari, Wari, Western Zone, and Sapele, I commission you all, Omiesi, into the main ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a token of your ministry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, Emmanuel. In the name of God and of the Diocese of Warren, only Western Zone, 
and certainly I commissioned you, commissioned you as Emmanuel Rasso into the lay ministry of the church and give you this certificate as a true good of your ministry. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Apostles, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers <coughs> to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among the people. Turn it out among the nations, the Lord is seen. Let us pray. Gracious Father, your son, before he ascended to glory, declared that your people would receive power from the Holy Spirit to bear witness to him to the end of the earth. Be present with all who go forth in his name. Let your love shine through their witness so that the blind may see, the deaf may hear, the lame walk, the dead be raised up, and the poor have the good news preached to them through Jesus Christ our Lord. To the King of Ages, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be you honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Take a chorus as you go back. Take a chorus and go back with it. Father to you, be your and glory. Elijah by Donny McClurkin. Days of Elijah. Please have a cheerful listening. If you know you're happy, shout it out. Hallelujah! 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 Please listen to our number and be blessed in Jesus' name.
those who deserve to be honored. You know, after a hard day's work, one needs to be rewarded. So at this moment, we are going to